So hello everyone, happy Friday the 13th. So this look is inspired by Jason from Friday the 13th, obviously. Seems only fitting. So if you are interested in this look, then keep on watching and enjoy. Start by gluing down your eyebrows with a non-toxic glue stick. I am then outlining the sockets of Jason's mask with a flesh-toned coloured eyeliner. I am then using a white body paint to go all the way around my face, making sure to leave the eye area free as well as a bit of flesh around the outside of my face clear to make it look like I am actually wearing a mask. I am then setting this white paint with a white eyeshadow and am then going over the top of this with a yellow eyeshadow and a brown eyeshadow to create discoloration that Jason's mask has. I am then taking black body paint and outlining the eye area of the hockey mask, making sure to drag this inwards towards my eyes. Also, make sure that the black body paint is darkest towards the outside of the eye area and lighter towards the inside to make it actually look like the sockets of a mask. I am then taking a brown eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm mapping out all the holes in the hockey mask around my face. Then taking that black body paint on a fine detailed brush, I am going around the holes in a half crescent moon shape to create more depth to each of the holes in the mask. Then taking a black eyeshadow, I am lightly going around the crescent moons that I have created to create a shadow around each of them. I am then also taking this black eyeshadow around the sockets of the eyes, making sure to leave a gap between the actual hole of the eye area and the shadow that I have created so that I can add a highlight in a little bit later on. Then taking a white body paint on a fine detailed brush, I am going in and filling in the gaps of the holes where I haven't added in black paint. So basically, the opposite side of where the black crescent moons are, I am adding in white on the opposite sides. I am then going back in with my black body paint to create the straps of Jason's mask, making sure to leave a circle in the middle free of black body paint, as this is where the buttons are going to be. I am then filling in my eyeballs with some black eyeshadow. And I am then mapping out the markings on Jason's mask with some red body paint. And then once I had mapped them out, I went back in with some white body paint to create tattered effect, faded effect, to make them look less symmetrical because they're faded on the mask. I hope you're understanding what I mean. And then once I'd done that, I decided that I was just gonna freehand the forehead section and then fill in the red body paint once I had added in the jagged areas with the white paint. If you don't understand what I mean, just keep on watching. I hope it makes more sense. I am then going back in with some yellow and brown eyeshadow to blend in the white paint that I have set down on the mask to blend the markings better into the mask itself. And I am then taking a black eyeshadow and I'm shading all the way around the mask and the straps to make it look like it actually is a mask that is standing off of my face to create more depth with some shading. I am then extending that black body paint into my hairline to make it look like the strap is actually going into my hair. I am then taking a silver paint and am adding in the buttons of Jason's mask. And then my look is kind of complete. I forgot to video uh, the shading around the actual straps, but that's just a little thing. If you want to do that, you can do it with some black eyeshadow just around the areas of the mask that are attached to the mask itself. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you'd like to hang around a little while longer, then hit subscribe, that big red button, and come and join the madness because as you can tell, things are a little bit creepy around here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day guys, bye.